safe to and from school require adequate protection from traffic hazards. The Winnipeg Police Department could not possibly provide this protection at all exits of every school. After studying methods used in other cities, the Safety Bureau of the Winnipeg Board of Trade founded the present school board patrol system. On May the 1st, 1936, at an inaugural ceremony, 50 boys from five schools were presented with white Sam Brown belts by Mayor Queen, supported by numerous public and city officials. For many years prior to this, a few schools had patrols individually operated, but this new system was coordinating all schools under the same plan. We all have the same rules and the white Sam Brown belt identifies them to the motorists and school children. The function of the patrol is to instruct, direct, and control school children crossing streets at or near their schools. Only five schools participated in this demonstration, but safety marches on. Safety Week 1937 is started off with further schools joining the patrol. 400 members will be required to patrol all the schools. These boys, 12 years of age or older, are appointed by the school principal. Their services are voluntary and approved by parent or guardian. Their activities are supervised by the police department, but all authority over them is vested in the school principal. <coughs> This is one of the sanest and most promising attacks on the vexed traffic problem, says Mayor Queen as he distributes more belts. Great credit is due Andy Den of the motorcycle squad, who was assigned by the chief of police, George Smith, to train the patrol. Groups of from 10 to 12 boys in each school constitute the patrol. Here we see a member of the patrol in action. He is placed at a busy corner and holds back the children until there's a lull in traffic. He then motions the group to cross. The school children themselves receive a training on traffic dangers, which they will always remember. The boys gain an invaluable practical experience, which will make them more careful when they themselves become drivers. These pictures were taken in 1936 and from this crude beginning has developed a well-trained and highly efficient force. Spurred on by prizes offered by the Winnipeg Free Press and other public-spirited groups, the patrol enters into annual competition to decide the first three best-conducted patrols in the city school. <clears throat> Here we see the 1939 winning team as it comes out to do duty at the corner of Selkirk and Arlington. The King Edward School Patrol has one of the hardest assignments in the city due to the large flow of traffic over the Arlington Street Bridge. Having such a group of young voluntary patrolmen trained to watch and guard has had a marked effect on the behavior of both drivers and children. These boys will have inoculated in their minds the principles of safety when pursuing other activities of their daily lives. The methods and rules are those formulated by a special committee of the Safety Bureau, Winnipeg Board of Trade, the school principals and others, based on rules issued by the National Safety Council, which has investigated the operation of patrols in over a thousand cities and changed to suit local conditions in Winnipeg. These rules have received the approval <coughs> of the Winnipeg School Board and the Department of Education, province of Manitoba. Motorists are asked to give the patrols their fullest cooperation when approaching an intersection where patrols are regulating the children. Every precaution should be taken. Patrols must be on duty 15 minutes before school opens and 15 minutes after it closes. 60 minutes of extra school per day means a great deal to a boy. It really runs up when you consider it five hours a week, 20 hours a month, and 140 hours a year, and no time and a half either. The school pride in these patrols, and volunteers always greatly exceed the number required. 
To be a member of the patrol is a direct honor for any school pupil as it marks him as one who can be trusted and who will be reliable when emergencies occur. But don't feel too sorry for the kids. It's not all lost time. Look at the time they spend like this. The public-spirited firms of this city have done their share toward providing equipment and amusement for the patrol. Here we see the boys hard at it at a dinner given by the Winnipeg Free Press. Mayor Queen presents a trophy emblematic of the Safety Patrol Championship to the principal of King Edward School. Trophies are all right, but the average boy would like something more tangible. The instigators of this little dinner know boy psychology pretty well, so arrange for each member of the team, placing first, second, and third in the annual contest to receive a sweater. I guess foregoing that extra 15 minutes sleep on those cold mornings was worth it. What do you think? Other prize winning patrols received their prizes from Chief of Police George Smith. The Chief has been behind the school patrols since their inception and it is through his cooperation that such fine work has been accomplished. But let's skip the speeches and get going. So there's a great treat in store for us tonight. Unlike the youth of Europe, this line of marching feet is intent upon saving lives rather than taking them. And what a grand job they're doing too. Schools were brought into this plan at the rate of two or three a week. Until now, all of the 40 schools needed to patrol are trained. All public schools other than high schools are represented. The accomplishment of the patrols in three years of operation are certainly worthy of note. Each year they supervise 24 million crossings of the street by school children. Only two children have been injured in supervised crossings during that time. Well, here's the big treat of the evening. The entire patrol are to be guests of the Winnipeg Free Press at Osborne Stadium. And what a treat it is too. For they're going to see the Blue Bombers in action. Every boy in Winnipeg knows all about the Blue Bombers. But for most, this is the first time they've ever seen them. Yes, sir, they're eating again. This time they're guests of the Winnipeg Free Press at the annual picnic at Assiniboine Park. After these pictures get around, there won't be anyone to help across the streets. They'll all be patrol boys. We don't know of anything a boy can do better on a hot summer's day than this. Needless to say, we didn't have to take any surplus ice cream back to the city. Hey there, stop eating. You won't be able to run. Go on, lay under a tree. We've got races to run. Come on now. Let's get going. Well, after many vain attempts and futile efforts, we got the races underway. Amongst the visitors, their friend Mayor Queen. You'll have to do some running if you want to make room for the other good things that we have in store for you. That's the stuff. Whoop it up. There, what did I tell you? You went and ate too many Dixies. That's slowing you down. But after a few races, they shake it down. They keep that up. We'll open the refreshment tent again. 